Hi there, it's Michael from Polygonic. Today we are going to take a look at another animation. This animation was made for last Botanic release, as few others you may have seen. A lot of you asked for next tutorial, so I recorded the whole process and made a quick video with my commentary. So let's get into it. As usual, I started by setting up a camera, blocking out the scene and making a basic composition. With this base, I started working on a plank wall from a friend's picture. I made loop cuts, separated the objects, filled the holes and joined them back together. Now I was able to do a bevel modifier and to randomize darkness of each plank. The workflow I used for this wasn't the most efficient as I realized later. I could have used a simple modifier stack and achieved the same result faster and more importantly with ability of easy modification that might be necessary in a client project. Let's see how we can make it correctly. We just need three modifiers, 8 split, solidify and bevel. Then we need to create loop cuts and mark sharply edges. Edge split modifier separates the geometry by sharp edges. Solidify modifier gives the plank thickness and bevel modifier bevels the edges. As you can see, we can now easily customize the planks. I used wood for material like add-on. To randomize darkness of each plank, we will use geometry node that has random per island output and connect it to the factor of mix RGB. We will connect base color to the top input, set the bottom color to some dark brown and choose darken blending mode. Now even though there are no sharp edges in the corner, planks are separated. To fix it we need to set edge split modifier to 180 degrees. Last thing to do is connect random per island also to the UV mapping offset, because the texture still uses the same mapping. I set up a simple terrain and forest behind the window, added pillows from blender kit and made a matters placeholder. I used HDR for materialic and downloaded the floor texture on the internet. I was still in the concepting phase, so as you can see I also tried placing the matters in the second window. I already showed you how I set up the planks material. Here you can see that I used color ramp between random per island and mix RGB for better control. And also used multiply blending mode instead of darken. I always just try a bunch of them and choose the best looking one. I ran into a little issue on the edges caused by bevel modifier, but turning off auto smooth solved it. I wanted to adjust the planks a bit, which would be much easier if I did it with modifiers, but fortunately it wasn't a big problem due to the small project size. This scene was supposed to show our new tree animations in Botanic, so I put the tree behind the window to cast some shadow inside the room. For a moment I used material override for the whole scene to see the shadows more clearly. Then I chose a different HDR with clean sky to get hard shadows of the leaves. I couldn't find any suitable matters on Blender Kit or anywhere online, so I made my own. It didn't take much time, first I used bevel and subdivided the geometry and then did some deformation with proportional editing. I downloaded this fabric texture online and used displacement. Then I just created seams from existing geometry by duplicating it, separating and using solidify with bevel. Here I am doing multiple things at once, concepting the scene, jumping back and forth and finding what looks good and what doesn't. I am working on the forest behind the window. In 3D there is often problem with horizons. That's why the terrain goes downhill, so the treetops in backs are lower and cover the space behind trunks. I also added few bushes to cover the passing light. I decided to put the matters back where it was, because it was obviously a better choice. I filled the scene with assets. I added curtains in windows, seat in the corner, houseplant with pot from Botanic, grass preset, also from Botanic, coffee table with decorations, filled the library and adjusted few materials. In forest there usually isn't a lot of grass, so I removed the grass in the back with white painting and covered the ground with dry leaves. I also placed some photoscan stumps and branches in the grass. Then I scattered few photoscan rocks from Botanic and made a big pile of them behind the right window. I animated the camera so you can first see the interior and by the end you mostly see the environment behind the window with our new animated trees. Then I did some final touches to the exterior and added volumetrics. Room still felt a bit empty, so I added sofa with carpet and harmonized the interior to yellow color to make it feel cozy. Well, and that's all for this video. Thank you for your attention. If you want to see more tutorials like this, let me know in the comments and like this video. You can also follow us on Instagram to stay up to date or join our Discord server when we and our community can answer your questions about our add-ons or 3D in general. See you next time!